Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. I'm going to show you all how to achieve this, this, and this. <laughs> I call those like those ding sound effects because you know when, on, when you're looking at their video, it's like ding and then you see all those things pop up. I always wondered how they did this. Like especially when I was using Windows Movie Maker, I'm like, I want to do this in my video too. But today I got you all because today I'm going to show you all how you can achieve those overlays are actually called overlays so the Instagram button the subscribe button and like whatever social media um, button that you want I'm gonna show you all how you can achieve that with Final Cut Pro and Windows Movie Maker now th since this video is put up to two different um, programs so the first part of the video is just gonna show me showing you all how to download uh, the sound effects for the buttons and the, how to get the buttons the users that use Windows Movie Maker and the users that use Final Cut Pro halfway through the video I'm gonna tell you all click the numbers that I linked down in the description box so you all can transfer over to how you edit for Windows Movie Maker and Final Cut Pro so you all don't watch the whole entire video you all could just watch like the first half that shows you how to get these buttons and then the second half will just be like how to edit these buttons onto your video for each program so if you look in the description box right now actually you'll see like oh I blah 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 number uh, Windows Movie Maker users and that blah 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 number Final Cut Pro users yeah I'm excited to share this all with you guys so let's get started into this the first thing I want to do is open up a browser and we're gonna go to youtube.com and this is where we're gonna search up the sounds that we're going to use on our video so the sounds I like is a ding sound effect and I use that mostly for my Instagram like follow button sound so we're gonna go and download that and I'm just gonna click it and you're just gonna look for which one is up your liking Okay, so I like the sound of that one, so we're going to go and download it. And what you're going to do is go to YouTube to mp3.org. And I think most people know that you can, with this website here, you can convert your YouTube videos into audios. And that's what we need, just an audio. So what I'm going to do now is copy the hyperlink from the YouTube video and input it onto this little search bar. And I just right-clicked it and selected paste. And that's what I'm going to do. Click convert video, and then we're going to download it. So it was really quick and simple to do this. And we're going to do the same thing for the subscribe button. And we're going to download a mouse clicky sound for a subscribe button because I feel like most people use the mouse to subscribe if you're not on mobile. <laughs> so we're going to find the one that matches me perfectly. So I'm going to click one and then we're going to listen to it. And I like this one. So what I'm going to do now is copy the link for that YouTube video and then input into YouTube hyperlink mp3.org and then we're going to download it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is look for pictures to go with these sounds and if you're using Window Movie Maker, just skip this and go to the number that I put in the description box so you all can start your editing. But if you're with Final Cut Pro, now we're going to go and search up subscribe PNG. You want to search up PNG or transparent background. This is what's going to make the subscribe button look good on your video. You want a transparent background that doesn't show any white, black, whatever. And you're just going to find a subscribe button that matches your style. And I'm just looking. And I'm just going to find one that matches my style. And I found the one that I want with the little mousey beside it. <laughs> so I'm going to download that and save it to downloads. And make sure it's a transparent PNG file. And we're going to do the same thing for our Instagram PNG or whatever social media network that you have. And I only have Instagram besides YouTube, so you all can follow me on that. So I'm just going to download that as well. And as you can see, this is really super simple. Okay, so now we're going to edit. And what I do first is look where, on my video where I want to input these subscribe Instagram posts. So once I've done that, I'm going to go up to File, go to Import Media. And this is where we're going to download the songs. Well, import the songs onto Final Cut Pro. The sound effects, actually. And now we're going to listen to the sound effect and see where we want to cut. Okay, so we're going to cut before and after the little dingy sound effect. So that's what you do. And then you drag it onto the screen to where you want it to be placed at. And we're just going to listen and it's perfect. And now we're going to import the pictures that go along with these sound effects. And that is the Instagram and the subscribe button. 
So select both of them and import them. So now I'm just going to select the mount that I want. And I'm going to put it... If you all want to watch a video on how I edit with Final Cut Pro, I'll link that video down below so you all can see that. And I adjust it so it starts the same time that the sound starts. And I'm just going to adjust the picture as well. And you just go to transform to do that. And I like when the icon is like on the small side, the medium to small side. I like it, so I press done. Now I'm just going to see how it looks and sounds together. I'm perfect. I like how it looks. Okay, but I'm just going to adjust the ending so it's a little bit shorter. Perfect, okay. Now we're going to go on to with the text. And I usually use just basic text. So we go to text icon, click it. And we're going to type in my Instagram. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's anisha.adams. So make sure you all follow. So anisha.adams. And we're going to input that. And now underneath the drop down menus at the bottom there, we're going to edit that. But now we're going to bring over the writing. And we're just going to edit to make it smaller so it looks much more presentable and nice. And you want the writing right beside the Instagram. Well, that's what I want. So now we're going to go to face and change the color. And I'm just using color that will complement and stand out at the same time. You don't want something white and you can't really see it. So I'm going to do it bold. And these are just little drop down menus that come along on the right side. Okay. So once we do that, we're going to test it to see if it looks good all together. Okay. Not bad. I'm just going to adjust the little thing. So I'm just going to adjust the Instagram button. So it can last a little bit longer on the screen. Okay, once that is done, we're going to go over to the subscribe button. So we're going to listen, but we're going to drag it to the timeline first. We're going to listen to where we want to cut. So we like that one. So I just cut it and then we're going to see. So we like how that looks. So now we're going to fix the sizing of the subscribe button. And I just deleted what I didn't want. And then we're going to go over to transform. And this is just going to transform the sizing. And I want this like on the medium to small side on an angle to make it look cool and hip. And you just do it there. Press done. Adjust the sizing. And then we're going to play it. Perfect. We're going to go look at it on big screen to see how it looks. So that's the first one. I like it so far. So that's the second one, and it looks good. If you all haven't watched this video, it's already on my channel. Link that down below. So that's really it, to be honest. Okay, now with Windows Movie Maker, I just have a different file this time because the one that I had before, it wasn't working, but... Yeah, anyway, so I'm just looking on this video to see where I'm going to put, like, the ding sound effect and my rating. And once I find that out, I'm going to add the music. And I have a full tutorial on how to edit with Windows Movie Maker. So I will link that down below or near the end of this video. I'm probably talking so loud because, yeah. Anyways, so once I have that on here, I am going to be looking... Again, we're on this clip that I am going to add this and I found that this was the perfect spot So I'm just going to drag that and input it and then next I'm going to go ahead with listening to the clip And I just did that to find out where the ding sound effect is and once I do that Okay, once I just did that to see I just turned down. The, okay, now I'm just going to bring the cruiser over to cut the voice notes in half to exactly where the ding sound effect is because that's all we need unless you want all that extra music so i'm just going up to music tool and click split and that will just delete everything and then you drag it back over here to the exact point of where you want to have the ding sound effect okay so after that is done we're going to add the writing and the second thing with final cut pro I'm not Final Cut Pro, <laughs> Movie Maker, Windows Movie Maker, you can't, you don't have the option of having pictures like the subscribe Instagram, but the writing is all you need. 
because once we have the music there for like the ding when people hear that they're gonna look on the screen to see where it's coming from and if you have your at that'll be good to use or whatever writing that you're gonna be putting on your screen the ding sound effect will work so now I'm just writing my name Anisha that's Adams and that's my Instagram handle and I'm just gonna put that to the top right of my screen okay now what I do to edit this um, like little writing here, I bring the writing to line up with the sound because once the sound goes on, you want your writing to be right, that follows right this follows right after the sound, okay? And then I'm just fixing up the font and the size. And with the size now, I do like a small size because on Windows Movie Maker, it looks big. It looks small with, like on this small screen here, but when you turn the screen bigger, it's if you have bigger fonts it'll come out really big and that's just I just ugly it's not my style okay and now for the time of the writing I'm just gonna leave it on the screen for like three seconds I don't really need my writing on the screen for that long three seconds is good in here so once I do that I listen to it I don't know it might be just me but I think I heard something so I'm just gonna replay it back again to see if I heard extra music and yeah so I did hear extra music so I'm just gonna um make the clip much more wider so i can see exactly where this music is coming from and as you can see i really didn't cut that precise and how you can do that basically is just go back to your music tools and then you select a split and that'll just clip split your your audio there and then i'm going to just drag back my audio to where it is supposed to be i have like all these unnecessary steps all you really need is the music Okay, so basically we are done. Just make sure your music lines up with the text, okay? Add the text, add the ding sound effect or the click sound effect, whatever fits your style. And we're just listening. And once you let that, that is all. And that's what you really need. This video is so quick and easy. We're just going to watch it on a bigger screen here. Voila! So pretty. Yep, so that's really it for Windows Movie Maker, and it was so super simple and easy. Only needed two things. That's all for today's video. I hope you all liked it. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you found this helpful, and comment down below if you also found this helpful as well, because I really think this is a helpful video, and hence why I wanted to share with all of you guys. And make sure you all hit the subscribe button, because I do much more videos similar to this. And yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Au revoir.